Welcome to Electro Online. So in order to understand geometry better, we need to understand the language of geometry. So next we're going to talk about the plane. So we have three different drawings represent a plane or a couple of planes and how they interact with points and lines. So just watch. So here we have C lies in X or on X. So C is a point and that point is on the plane X. So X is the plane. And so we can say that C lies in X or on X. We can use either word in or on. We can also say that the line N lies in X or on X. And we can say that X contains N and C, N being a line and C being a point. So that's the language that we use in geometry. Here we have a line that is on the plane and we have a line that cuts through the plane or that intersects the plane. So the proper language we use is that P the point right here where the line N intersects the, pl the, the plane X, we say that P and M lie in X or on X, both would be acceptable. We can also say that X contains P and M. P is the point P and M is the line M. X intersects or cuts N at P. So we can talk about the plane intersecting the line N at point P, or we can talk about N intersecting X at P. So the line N intersects the plane at point P, so we could talk about it in either way. Here we have two planes, X and Y. You can see how they cut one another, or Y goes right through the plane X, or X goes through the plane Y, however you want to look at it. So you can say that X and Y intersect, and I guess I don't need the S there, X and Y intersect in AB. AB is the line that's defined by the two points A and B. Of course, the line should go on in both directions, so maybe we'll, we'll write it like that, so that might be a better way to express the line. So you can see that the line AB represents the intersection between planes X and plane Y. We can also write it like the, lines, the line AB is the intersection of X and Y. We can also use the, the, the symbol here for intersect, so X intersect Y equals the line AB or X and Y, the two planes X and Y, contain the line AB. And notice how I keep putting in the words line and plane and point because it, it actually adds a better understanding to the concepts, but when you see the writing, they tend not to put those things in there, so that makes it a little bit confusing. And here you can say that AB lies in both planes. You could say the line AB lies in both planes. And so again, this is how we work with points, with lines and with planes in geometry and the language that we use to express them. And that's how it's done.